ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Channel 4, News in Quarantine. I'm your host, Pinar. Our most recent story, the South African government is considering raising the minimum legal drinking age from 18 to 21. This was met with harsh opposition from young South Africans that recently attained the privilege of ordering a beer. According to an article by Cape Business News, this ban will be seen as unattainable and wildly unenforceable. They state that people the government deems mature enough to vote, marry freely, choose careers, drive cars and enter into contracts will no longer be able to drink with friends, at a meal or even at their own weddings, should this new bill be adopted. Furthermore, the article includes statistics by the World Peace Index claiming that even though this new law may reduce the amount of heavy drinkers in South Africa, this has relatively no correlation to the amount of violence or economic prosperity a nation has, when looking at examples like New Zealand and Australia. In a similar article by Fin24, confirm, um, concerns and proposals by the DA are outlined on how this change will negatively affect the South African economy. Econom the article focused mainly on the economic impact lower alcohol sales will have on a nation already battling to keep bread on the table. Unfortunately, even though the new law may be extremely unpopular, it does hold many positives in the long run. It is therefore in the opinion of this new station to support the new legislation. In an article by the CDC, they explain about how raising the legal age to 21 reduces the amount of vehicular accidents by a conservative 16%. In 2010, the United States, where the legal drinking age is 21, more than 189,000 medical emergencies were caused by excessive drinking between, of people between the ages of 18 and 21. And together with property damages, amounted to a staggering loss of 24 billion US dollars to the economy. We now go live to speak with Dr. Friedrich Schneider of the U.S. National Server of Drug and Health Monitoring. Doctor, could you explain the health benefits of uh, the uh, drinking age of 21? Yeah, uh, binge drinking has very adverse effects on the developing brain. In a, in a paper I published uh, with CNN, teenage years are some of the most important parts uh, for brain development uh, next to infancy, of course. Neurons in the brain are growing and strengthening. Connections are developing to allow the brain to transmit information faster and allow the brain to process complex thoughts. Uh, this development is not fully complete until a person is at least in the late 20s. This effect, however, is not as significant in moderate drinkers, preventing young people from excess of drinking at this stage in their life significantly reduces uh, their dependence on, on alcohol and better their judgment when they eventually become adults as well, yes. Fascinating. Thank you, Dr. Schneider. And there you have it. This new law may be very unpopular and may have some immediate damaging effects on the South African economy. But the long-term benefits of raising the minimum drinking age to 21 far outweigh the sacrifice that the young men and women of this nation should make in order to obtain it. Stay tuned for Tic-Tac-Toe with Actual Toes, games you can play in the quarantine. And Man Sue's son for being too hot and wins. All later tonight on News and Quantity. I'm your host, Peter Pinar. Enjoy your evening.